not make my father's house a house of trade. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John chapter 2 verses 13 to 22. The Passover of the Jews was at hand and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple he found those who were selling oxen and sheep and pigeons and the money changers at their businesses. And making a whip of cords, he drove them all with the sheep and oxen out of the temple. And he poured out the coins of the money changers and overtained their tables. And he told those who sold the pigeons, Take these things away. You shall not make my father's house a house of trade. His disciples remembered that it is it, it was written Zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, What sign have you to show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, It has taken 46 years to build this temple, and will you raise it up in three days? But he spoke of the temple of his body. When therefore he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had spoken. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, today, on the 9th of November, we celebrate the feast of the dedication of the Latran Basilica, Latran Church, the dedication. Today's feast of its dedication reminds us of our calling to live in deep communion with the successor of Peter, the Pope, the rock on which Jesus built his church and the one who confirms us in our faith. Our first reading is from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. 47, Ezekiel chapter 47, verses 1 to 2, 8 to 9, and 12. And our second reading is from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 3, verses 9, 11, 16 to 17. And so, my dear brothers, my dear, my dear friends, we are the temple of God. We you we are the temple of God. As we celebrate this feast today, its dedication to God, we need not to celebrate our own lives, how we have dedicated our lives our, 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 to God. From the gospel, Jesus Christ does something extraordinary in the eyes of the Pharisees, the Jews. Thus they ask him, what authority, what sign do you have for you for doing this, for chasing the auctions um, and other things? What sign do you have? Why are you doing this? And tells them, oh, destroy this temple and on this and on uh, uh, three days I'll raise it up not knowing that actually he was talking about his own body I reminded all of us just as St. Saint, uh, Saint Paul as alluded to uh, 
in today's uh, second reading, you are God's temple. You are God's temple. Don't you know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? Don't you know? So he's asking us. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to ask ourselves, for how long have we been doing businesses, not of oxen or pigeons or money changers, but the business of hatred, business of envy, business of jealousy, business of pride, business of lust, Business of fornication, business of stealing, business of gossip, business of bitterness, business of cheating on your wife, business of cheating on your husband. For how long have we conducted this, that, those kind of businesses in our lives? And St. Paul is asking us, don't you know that you are God's temple and, uh, and that God's spirit dwells in you? Don't you know? For God's temple is holy. And you need to keep it holy. You need to preserve the holiness in the temple of God. That is your life. That is your body. And so Christ says, remove all these things. Remove all these things. Take these things away. You shall not make my father's house a house of dread, a house of hatred, a house of fornication, a house of adultery, a house of envy, a house of pride, a house of stealing, a house of gossips. A house of cheating on your wife, a house of cheating on your husband. Christ says, Take away all these things. Take away all these things. You shall not make my father's house. You shall not make my father's house a house of trade of all these things all these different businesses that have been going on in our lives. Christ says, remove them. Remove them. If you are listening with someone else right now, tell them, remove them. If you are with someone sitting next to you, tell them, remove them. Remove them. Grasses, remove them. You shall not make my father's house a house of trade. There have been so many businesses that have been going on in our lives, in our bodies. As St. Paul has, has asked us a simple question. Don't you know that there should be the Holy Spirit? Don't you know that that is the, the temple of the Holy Spirit? Thus, at some point, St. Paul says, use your bodies to glorify the Lord. Use the bodies to glorify the Lord. Use it. Use it to glorify the Lord. Not for any other trade. Not any other trade. So, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear parents, we need to check ourselves. We need to check ourselves, each one of us. If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him or her. God will destroy that person. So we need to try by all means and preserve 
the sanctity and preserve the holiness and preserve this temple of God. If Jesus was to come today, right now, this moment, what kind of business is he going to find in your life, in your heart? Is it of envy? Is it of lust? Is it of jealousy? Is it of gossip? Is it of fornication? Is it of adultery? Is it of cheating on your wife? Is it of cheating on your husband? Is it of, is, is, is it of witchcraft? Which ones is he going to find? Or is going to find all cleaned up? Which one? Dear brothers and sisters. Jesus says, take these things away. Take them away. Remove them. Remove, remove, remove. Remove them. Remove them. That's what Christ says. May we not make this temple of the Holy Spirit a house of trade but rather a house of worship and praising God. It is never too late to pick up that broom and clean. As we celebrate the, the feast of the dedication of the Hatran Basilica, Hatran Church, may we also dedicate our lives to Yahweh, to God. May we dedicate our lives to Him alone. May we dedicate our inmost life to Him and give ourselves completely to Him in what we do, in what we think, in how we walk, in what we say, in our action and deed and otherwise. When we dedicate our lives to God, then we might have realized that indeed this is the temple, the dwelling place of Yahweh, of my God. So I need to, 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 to keep it, to keep it nice. I need to keep it safe. May we pray today that the blessings of the dedication of the Veteran Basilica, the Mother Church, of all the churches, as it is considered, the blessings that come forth from that church may be with each one of us. But as they say, bread mass in that church, its blessings, its graces that come forth from the mass should reach each one of us through today's celebration. And it reminded all of us that we are called to dedicate our lives to God. Because we are called to do so. As in Paul, as the signs that which you know that your bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit, may we live according to the decrees, the needs of God. May God bless us and bless His word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.